Hey guys, Francois here from Simfire, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your WNPy. Right, that's something I like to do when I uh, reset my WNPy. I like to change a couple of things on it, and that's what this video is all about today. The first thing we're going to do is create our own user, and so by default, um, I've actually reset my WNPy. Uh, I'm just going to SSH to it using the default. Uh, IP address, which is 192.168.42.1. And the uh, the default username uh, of the WNPi is WNPi. So if you want to assist it into it, WNPi at 192.68.42.1. The password is WNPi. And there you go, you're logged in into your WNPi. So creating a user allows you to have your own password and also your own home directory. So to create a new user, you can use the command sudo add user and then specify the user you want to use. Uh, it's going to ask you for the password of the WNPi account. So it's the default is WNPi. And then it's going to ask you for the password for the new user that you are defining. So you set that up. And after that, it's going to ask you for a couple of more details if you want to uh, document that, a full name, number, and, and, and so on. And once you're done, you've just created a new user on your WNPi and a new password along with that. Next, we need to add this new user into the sudo group. So later on, when you connect it as Francois, you can actually execute sudo command. So that's actually what the user mode uh, command is all about. And once that's done, you can test your new username looking with the SU, uh, specifying the name of the username and the password. And as you can see, we're logged in as Francois. So everything worked well here. Now, when you start executing command in your new user, account, you'll see that it doesn't really work. Uh, it doesn't know where ifconfig is because your path defined for that user is not defined properly. So what you can do is you can check your dot profile username and change that file. So you actually tell uh, the system, you know, where all these applications are. And so to modify that dot profile, you can just use nano um, dot profile. It's going to ask you for your password. You actually don't need sudo here. Um, and then all the way at the bottom, you can add uh, some directory to your path variable. So you do that using the path in all capital and then entering the command I have here, um, daughter son path colon slash as bin, which is where you have some of the applications and then uh, I also added USR as bin because some other applications are in this directory. And there you go here. Now you should be able to have access to your to your applications. Before that, you actually have to reload your profile using the source command. And then now I can do ifconfig. Everything's working well. Second thing is changing the host name. So by default, the host name is WNPy. I would like to change that. So how does that work? The host name is actually configured onto the, the file uh, ATC host name. So as you can see right now, it's WNPi. So all you have to do is modify that file, sudo nano uh, etc host name. And then you can repl uh, you know, replace WNPi with whatever you want. Here I chose Stemfile Pi. And I save that file. And that's all you have to do. Um, next thing you know, when you reboot your WNPi, it will have the new name. So that's what I'm what I'm doing here, rebooting the WNPi. Next, create your aliases. So aliases is um, uh, here. I'm actually SSHing back into my WNPi. So since I have a new user, I can use that new user, and then I can use my new password to connect to WNPi. I can see that you know I'm connected as Francois, and I can see that my host name is actually updated. So all is fine here. So aliases. Uh, aliases is nice because it allows you to save some shortcuts, right? So as you can see here by default, ls is actually ls and then uses the color, uh, the colors to show you the results. Uh, but you can define many other uh, aliases that you like to speed up whatever you, you're doing on your WNPi, right? And where you configure all of that is under the dot bash uh, RC file. The bash RC file is pretty much a configuration file for your shell. And this is where you'll configure that for your profile. So here I'm going to modify that file and it's going to modify, you know, my configuration for the shell, uh, for the Francois user, right? That's specific to every user. So here in this file, if I, you can see that, you know, we already have some, uh, defined configurations, 
uh, on the WNPI. You can see I have some aliases that are commented. And then what I did is all the way at the back, I just pasted my aliases, the one I like to, to use, the one I've defined. And you can just, you know, if you want to pause and, and see what I'm using here, uh, a couple of useful ones. Uh, one that I find is interesting for us is the uh, IW config, right? So I created an alias is IW0 if I want to know the IW config WLAN 0. And then here I'm just going to add the IW1, which we do the same, but for WLAN 1, just in case I have two Wi Fi NICs connected to my WLAN Pi. Once you're done, you, you know, you have to just have to save the file, right? Quit. And that's not uh, done yet at this point. If you try the uh, um, uh, first, you can validate that everything is fine, it's, it's configured. But if you can, if you try alias aliases, you see it's not going to work, right? And it's because you need to reload your configuration. So you have to do a source dot bash rc reloading your your shell configurations. And now here we go, it works. If I do la, I do my ls aliases. Um, and then I can try to, for example, clear the shell, CL, and you can see it works. And if you use the alias command, it allows you to see all the alias aliases you have uh, configured for that profile. Now, if I, if I quit the SSH session and, and connect back, it's going to reload my bash and it's going to apply the new configuration. So that's something you have to do just once. Next, if I want to customize my prompt, um, as you can see here, I have username at uh, host name and then the f the path of my directory. I like that. I just like to change the colors. I don't like super heavy prompts, uh, multi lines prompts. So I actually like the default one. I just want to update the colors um, and make it uh, to my liking, I guess. So what you can do is you can scroll down until you find the PS1 variable, which is the the way a prompt is configured. And what I'm going to do is is erase this one and I created one for me. That I'm going to be pasting and then it might be a little bit complex because you know we have to use code for different colors and then I show you a link where you can get all the good colors but you can see how you have backslash u for the username and then at and then the host name and then colon and then you have the w is the path the directory right so if I save that once again I have to reload my configuration so I'm going to have to do source uh, dot bash r hrc and then reload and then you can see my prompt is updated with the proper colors right um, and then if I go to a different directory I can even use my aliases for that and then you can see it updates the directories with the color I want next I want to change the picture displayed when the WNPI boots so uh, as you can see when it boots you have a little picture and it goes away and you have the home screen right so um, if you want to change the, the picture, brand it for your company or have something fun, I'll show you how you can actually do that on your diary and pie. Okay. So for that, we have to actually retrieve the file, the picture file used by default. So you can do that going to the uh, that directory right here. And you, you should see something called wlanprologo.png and that's the image used uh, to display the logo at the boot up. So what you can do is you can go back, uh, go back to your uh, laptop copy that image into your laptop right and then duplicate that image I'll show you how how I did that and then create your own based on the same you know the same size so what I do is um, I'm actually going to go to the directory I used uh, to create this uh, video so I have everything in, in one place and then I'm going to use a command called scp to copy a file that's on w on the wnpi to my laptop via ssh connection right um, so the command is pretty easy the uh, scp and then i'm going to the the source file is on the wnpi so i have to say i'm going to connect with francois at the ip address of the wnpi and then i have to specify the path of where the image is the path is a little long so I'm just going to copy paste it and so that's going to be the file I want to copy and then the destination will be just right where I am I want to keep the same name so I just apply it's asking me for my Francois password and then right now I just copied the WN Pro logo image and I have it on my laptop so as you can see I have multiple authors that I created from the 
the original one I just copied the same size and then I just created my own using the same dimension and then um, uh, just with different different things I created one with the uh, you know the Eddie smiley and then one for my company logo and then so now all I have to do is copy that image back onto the WLAN and replace the original image with the new one okay that's all we have to do left the only thing is I cannot do that right away because you know the image is under WLAN Pi user and I don't have the permission to do that so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to copy the image from my laptop to my Francois home directory on the WLAN Pi and then from the WLAN Pi I'll be able to copy it from the Francois account to the WLAN Pi account so that's what I'm doing here I'm uh, copying my new image onto the WLAN Pi on the Francois home directory right so I'm specifying where I want it on the Francois home directory it's going to ask me for my password All right it's going to copy the image over to the WLAN Pi so now if I go back to the WLAN Pi and I go back to my home directory I should have the picture right there right I have the picture and then now what I can do is I can use sudo to come to copy that you know new image into the old one right and so you can take the new image and then copy paste it into um, into the the proper directory and you have to keep the same name right that's very important here uh, so you have to keep WN pro logo PNG so it will have the same name so it will not impact the configuration but it will you, you pretty much you know replacing the content of the image uh, and uh, and it will it just work that way I tried to make it work another another way but it didn't really work for me maybe in the future I'll be able to to do it and then all you have to do is reboot and then when you reboot you should see the new picture and here the home page and on the home page you can even see that my host name have been updated all right guys thank you for tuning in hopefully this has been helpful i have more details on my blog if you want to check it out stemfirenetworks.com uh, slash blog and you have the url here and feel free to uh, tell me in the comments if you have different tips that you use to you know customize your own wn pi um, and hopefully you can make make it easier in the future one thing I would like to do is actually create a script that I can just uh, execute every time I you know re-image my WN Pi so I can it can just apply all of this customization for me right after the update and I have I don't have to redo it every time right thank you guys for tuning in and then I'll see you guys in the next one